If you want to get your WordPress website score 96 on mobile and 100 on desktop then follow this complete tutorial. In this video, we will speed optimize this beautiful looking restaurant website. Let's see the full view of it. It contains lots of images and sections. So let's go to the website browser and type onlinemon.com slash flyingpress. Flying Press is a lightweight and easy to use speed optimization plugin for WordPress. It's an awesome plugin to speed optimize your website. Why do you use Flying Press? It's easy to use with only a few things to configure and the great support of this WordPress plugin makes it an all-in-one solution. Here is the full list of features available on Flying Press. So let's check the pricing plan of it. On personal plan, it will cost only $60 and you can use it on one website. On developer plan, it will cost only $150 and you can use it on five websites. On professional plan, it will cost only $250 and you can use it on 50 websites. On agency plan, it will cost only $500 and you can use it on 500 websites. This plan is great value for money and suitable for agencies. All of the plan's renewal fee is less. The great news is Flying Press offers 14 days refund policy. So if you don't like this plugin, there is nothing to lose. So now log into my Flying Press account and download the plugin. First, go to the WordPress dashboard. Go to the plugin sections and click Add New. Then upload the plugin. Click Install Now. It will take some time. The plugin installs successfully. So active the plugin. We should take a backup of our website before making any changes. There is some unused plugin. We should delete those and use fewer plugins as possible for best practice. Go to the Appearance and then the Themes section. Keep only one theme and remove all unused themes that will save your server resource. Now we have to configure our Flying Press plugin. You will find a menu on left, click on it. You can see the interface of this plugin is so simple and clean. Now click on the cache option. The first option is cache logged in users. If you have membership type website only then you can enable this option. The second option here is generate separate cache for mobile. Nowadays, most WordPress themes are fully responsive, so no need to check this option as well. If you use AMP for mobile only, then you can enable this option. You can keep the scheduled preload settings as it is. If you regularly upload blog posts on your website, then can select 12 hours. If you want, you can exclude the cache of any specific page as well. Now click on the CSS option. Minify CSS option is already enabled. It will remove your all white space and comments from CSS files. Remove and use CSS is an awesome feature to improve website speed. Click remove. You can see it showing a warning there that this option might not work for all websites. So if this option does not work for your website, then go back to asynchronously option. But remove option will give you the best score. Then click save settings. Let's see the website in incognito mode to check whether all website element is working fine or not. All sections are loading perfectly. So can move on to the next steps. Go to the dashboard again. Here is an option called lazy render elements. Here you can lazy load different sections. I will show you the process now. Go to your website browser scroll below then click inspect element. Right click over the footer then click copy then copy selector. Come back to the WordPress dashboard and paste it here hashtag footer. You can add hashtag comments as well. So now the footer and your website blog page comments will be lazy load. Then click save changes. For making a website web hosting is so important thing. 
but sometimes you face a hard time finding the right hosting for you. Hosting or hosting comes with an awesome performance at so affordable price. You can see different price plans. You can choose the best suitable plan for you. You can see the all feature they are giving. In all plans, they offer free SSL service and weekly backup. So I will leave the link in the description. You always find the best available offer here. Now go to the JavaScript option. Minify JavaScript and preload links are already enabled. Keep those as it is. Now click defer JavaScript. Check defer inline as well. The next option is delay JavaScript. This is one of the most powerful features of this plugin. By default delay selected will delay a few selected scripts. But I prefer to use delay all feature. It will delay all available JS of your website. You can see it showing a warning there that this option might not work for all websites. So if this option not works for your website, go back to the delay selected option. You can exclude any specific script as well. Let's check the website in incognito mode again. All sections are loading perfectly. So can move on to the next steps. Next move on to the fonts option. Click on optimize Google font. It will combine your all Google font into one. Then check the display fallback font. It will show different font if the main font doesn't show. On Google font option you can preload an external font here. You can preload your font awesome fonts as well. Next click on the image tab. The lazy load images option is already enabled. There is an interesting feature exclude above fold images. That means you can exclude images from lazy load what is showing on above the fold. You can choose the number from here as well. So how does it count like logo, background image, first icon image? Here we can exclude any specific image from lazy. We have to copy the image address like this and paste into this field. Below we have the option for width height on image. This feature will reduce layout shifts. We can host user gravator images locally as well. It will reduce some external requests. Then click save changes. Then go to the iframe tab. Click lazy load of frames. It will lazy load your all of frames like YouTube. Then click placeholder image for YouTube video. Then click save changes. The next option is CDN. We will discuss this option in the later part of our video. Bloat is a newly added feature in Flying Press. Some options here are really effective. Remove Google Font. If you want you can use this feature, it will remove the Google Font and will show user device Google Font. I will not use it. Click Disable XML RPC option. If you don't have any blog on your website then you can disable RSS feed. Then disable block editor CSS. As I am not using Gutenberg editor so I can enable this feature. Then click disable o embeds and then disable emojis. The next option is disable cron job. No need to enable this. Then enable disable jQuery migrate. It will remove older jQuery code. Then click disable dash icons. Then click control post revisions. I prefer to keep it 10. Then click Control Heartbeat. Then chose Enable only while editing post. For heartbeat frequency click 60 seconds. Then click Save Changes. Then next go to Database Settings. Click all options you find here. On automatic cleaning option, I prefer to use never. But if you want you can choose the weekly or monthly option. Then click save changes. Then we will click settings. From here you can export all of the configuration we made and can use them on other websites as well. Flying CDN is a content delivery network designed to deliver your content faster and more efficiently, improving the speed and performance of your website. 
Here is the list of revolutionary features you will get on Flying. Flying can price start with only $3 per month per website. Here you will get 100 gigabytes of bandwidth which is will more than enough for you in most cases. With the most affordable price, they will give the best possible feature here. They gave a very interesting comparison with Cloudflare, Cloudflare Pro and Rocket CDN. Here you can see the same features you will get on Cloudflare Pro for $25 per month the same feature you are getting here only for $3 per month. So let's back to the WordPress dashboard again. Click Enable CDN. Here it will ask to put a CDN URL here. Then you can log into our Flying dashboard. You can see I have already $40 credit here. You have to recharge your account to use CDN feature. Now click Create New CDN and paste your website URL here. Then click Create. It will take some time to generate a CDN URL. Copy the CDN URL and paste it into the WordPress dashboard flying in section. We will load our all files on flying and so keep it like this and click save changes. Now we have to wait a few times to work flying properly. Go to the image section again. Click responsive images with flying. This option will serve different size images and different size screens. Click save changes. After a few times, open the website preview mode and click view page source. Here you can see all files are already serving from Flying. So we are done with the Flying configuration. So now let's test the website on Tmetrix. It will take some time to show the result. Wow! We are getting 100 score on both performance and structure. You can see the loading total time is only 1.1 seconds which is super fast. Now test the website on Google Page Speed Insights. Pass our website here and click Analyze. It will take some time to show the result. Wow! That really great! On mobile, it's showing 96 score. On desktop, it shows 100 scores. So we can clearly see a great speed improvement even with a heavy website. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash a like and subscriber to this channel. Feel free to watch our other popular video. Take care.